are so good. Lord, we just acknowledge your wholeness. You are full and perfect and blameless. Jesus, we honor you today in this moment. Thank you for everything you've given us, Father. Thank you for the path that you've laid out for us, Lord, for your sacrifice, Jesus, so that we might live. God, we're just struck by your glory today. We're just in awe of your glory, Father. We want to sit with you and exalt your name. stand before you now as honestly as I know how broken by the days gone by spirit help my soul to rise Try my best, but still I fail. And even then, you're with me there. You remind me I'm a child of God, regardless of the things I've done. All my hope is found in perfect love.
Others say that it's impossible to ever save a sinner's soul. But my God says to the prodigal, my beloved one, you're welcome home. Oh, 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 oh. well, they say that it's impossible to ever save a sinner's soul. But my God says to the prodigal, my beloved one, you're welcome home. Your mercy triumphs over judgment. Love wider than. Daily live. 
father say you could be the prodigal son every single day and I would still throw the feast every day oh you cannot get so far away from me that the grace runs out our only job is just to turn around just to turn back towards the father and the father's house and put one foot in front of the other to draw closer and closer. That's the only thing he expects from us in those moments, just to make the choice to turn, look upon his face, start walking home. He'll do the rest. His grace is sufficient. His kindness draws us in. God, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. You are so kind. You are so faithful. We're just in awe of your kindness, mm. your gentleness with us. If the only strength we have in that moment is just to turn around, just to turn and face you, if that's all we can muster, you say you're willing to meet us there. That is so good. <laughs> that is so good. Lord, we glorify you. We honor you for that kindness, for that graciousness over us and our hearts, even in the deepest pits of despair, even in the farthest moments of loneliness when we go, I couldn't possibly run all the way back towards heaven. I don't have that strength. I don't have that in me. He just asks us to turn towards him. Just turn, child. Just turn one foot in front of the other. I'll meet you there. I'll guide you back into my arms. God, you are so gracious. You are so faithful to our hearts, Lord. May we never forget that. May we never take it for granted. Just assume you're always gonna be there. You're always gonna meet us halfway. We wanna be fully in awe, on our knees, astounded by the way that you meet us. You'll come find us. You'll leave the 99. You'll chase us down no matter what, every time, every day, if that's what it takes, because you're a good father. We rest in that identity as your kids, Lord. We choose to turn today. Maybe that's all we've got in us. We just turn. We turn towards you. Just turn to me, my child. My mercy triumphs over judgment. My grace will overwhelm me. And my love will cover you. Oh, I'll say it again. Just turn to me. My child, my mercy triumphs over judgment. My grace will overwhelm, and my love will cover you. Oh, turn to me, my child. My mercy triumphs over judgment. My grace will overwhelm. And my love will cover.
shende Hira baka yere meki andara moshoto Rimande respond if you're at a place in your life where you're left without words where you feel like what you've done is unforgivable if you feel like you've committed sins that he can't forgive you of we're gonna help you respond we're gonna help you respond today all you have to do is surrender. All you have to do is say, God, here I am. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to respond to my own strength. So this is my best effort right here. I bring you my weakness. I bring you my heart. I surrender to you, oh God. You 
going in exactly into the most intimate part of you that you've been shielding, maybe shielding from people, shielding from the Lord. But it's like, no, this is the thing that no one can really help me with. I'm gonna have to do this on my own. Or no, nobody's gonna really understand that. It's it's my intention, it's not my action. It's, it's a piece of me that no one can really affect. I'm keeping this close and hidden. And I just see it like needle precision that he can go into your heart, do surgery on that one specific place. Nothing else is getting disturbed. He's just going right in. Perfect precision right in there to that part of your heart that you've been guarding and shielding and hiding and saying everything but this, Lord. Everything but this. If we acknowledge that he is all powerful, if we confess with our mouths that he is perfect and good and able, then open it up. Let him in. 
God, we believe that you are good. We believe that you are coming for us. You are a bridegroom hungry for your bride. You don't give your heart in pieces. You don't just hand us half of yourself. You show up every time, all of you. And right now, with specific precision, you can do heart surgery if we just invite you in. Lord, you are good, you are mighty, you are powerful, you are wise. You know what to do, you know when to do it. We are in good hands. We need to get really honest. We need to get so honest right now. Lord, you can do it, you can heal, you can restore. It's like rivers, it's like veins all through your body. Even in the most minuscule of avenues, he can move through you right there into the places where you need him the most. The places that are the scariest to open up. The extent to which we're vulnerable and honest is the extent to which we can receive healing in those areas. So right now with us, let's just get so honest and so vulnerable and so real for the Lord to do that heart surgery right now.
stirred by grace and all my heart is yours all fear removed I breathe you in I lean into your love you know you do I just see such tenderness like the tenderness of the father he knows how to speak to you to minister to your heart just rest in that confidence today I hear the voice of God he speaks to me and I hear him tuned to his voice, to his words. That's a part of my inheritance, my identity. That's who I am. I can hear the voice of the God most high, the mighty of mighties. Lord, we love you. We love you. You are tender. You are merciful. Even when we repent, even when we draw close, you are so kind. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, sing it out, sing it out.
look him full in the face, forehead to forehead, breathing deep, deep into his eyes. He's looking you full in the face right now, face to face with the God of the universe. We know that his eyes sparkle like diamonds and that he is good and his voice is like water. Look him in the eyes right now. We need to be confronted with the mightiness of our God, the greatness of our God, the God that is going to return. We're going to see him come. We need to be confronted with that God, the God of revelation, the God of our revelation. When he comes into our hearts, into the holy of holies, and he speaks right to us face to face, eye to eye, he says, child, this is who you are. You ask and you shall receive. You want to touch? I'm coming in. That's the God we need to be confronted with today, our mighty Father, our warrior God. Right now, press in forehead to forehead, breath to breath. Look him in the eyes. This is the safest place with the most powerful God. <laughs> this is the most tender place with the mightiest, fiercest warrior. This is where you are safe and whole and hidden away in the God that shatters mountains and foundations. Lord, we're desperate for you, Father. Every day, every hour, we turn to face you and we're desperate, Jesus. We believe what we were singing and all we want is to live curled up inside your love, Jesus. We're undone. God, you are so good. And I Just before you 